How do you remember Ginger Baker? Drugged, decrepit and desperately thin, or as the greatest rock drummer in the world? And the days of cream and blind faith, when he made drums sing the kind of rhythm only craziness beats out. Back then, Ginger became rich and famous by being obsessed with drums. Now, it's horses. This is El Chimango, which means vulture. He's one of the oldest horses. He's the first horse I ever had, actually. Uh, he's a super fellow. My little boy and little girl ride him quite happily. This is, well, his real name's Snow Fox. Uh, we call him Peppy. He's uh, quite a useful fellow. He's, He's not as brave as some. And then we've got the mad one. Ah. He's uh, a very typical Argentine horse, but he's um, he's a very nervous sort, you see. Do you really do you really love these horses? Oh yeah. These days Ginger Baker gets up at dawn instead of going to bed. After 15 hell-raising years of irresponsible fame, he's trying on the lifestyle of a gentleman farmer, highly responsible for 10 horses. He never stops talking about horses, mucking out the barn or giving them exercise so willingly that you begin to feel he must always have cared. In fact, it started only a couple of years ago while he was living in Nigeria. Polo happened, which is a big surprise to me at the time. And I saw some polo and immediately thought, oh, you know, I'd like to look at this. And uh, I didn't ride or anything, you know. And they sat me on a horse and said, oh, you're sitting comfortably, and whacked it across the backside, and off I went at 90 miles an hour, you know, round Lagos Polo Club. And the description of me when I came back was my beard was round one side of my face and my sunglasses round the other, and they didn't figure out who was sweating more, the horse or me, you know. But I quite enjoyed it, actually, and so, the, you know, I said, yeah, this is great, but I couldn't, you know, stop it or turn it or anything. It was doing as it liked. So the next day they took me out and, you know, with Colin, and they, within ten days I was out with a stick and ball, I sort of, and I was managing to hit the ball on both sides of the horse, too, which is quite extraordinary. So for the last two years, Ginger Baker has been trying to form his own polo club, on the Ashtonwold estate near Oundle, where he rents his farmhouse. Last year, his team, the Dragonflies, won the Assam Cup, all on display at home, next to other evidence of a very expensive obsession. Everything in polo costs five-star money. A horse, for a start, costs twice as much to keep as a human being. Keep still, sweetie. Boy. If a horse is worth £5,000, and it's got a suspect knee joint, you don't balk at a vet's bill of 20 pounds for a few x-rays. There's the farrier to pay. Every month when he visits Highfield Farm, several of the horses will need shoeing of one kind or another. For a drummer, the world of polo is littered with a hundred mistakes it's all too easy to make. You can't, they, you know, you can't say, OK, so, I've only been involved in it four years. I think I know more than a lot of people who've been involved in it for their lives. What's the key, yeah. then, to, to knowing about horses? Intelligence. Just that? Simply, yeah. You can tell if an animal's not well, if it is well, you know. Ginger Baker can't remember how many times he's fallen off, but says it must be dozens. He's hardy and nasty and fanatical. The only thing that stops him being really dangerous is his concern for the horses. Hey, 
One day soon, he expects to have the best polo side in Britain, and eventually, the world. Only this week, 30 polo ponies arrived from Argentina. Once they're unloaded, they'll go up the A1 to Ginger's farm, where they'll be tried out and trained. Most of them will be sold to finance the venture, but he'll keep the best, expecting to gradually improve his bloodstock. Everyone, even the most gullible, must have suspected a hoax, have thought that perhaps it was just the whim of a bored man to momentarily take up polo. This air shipment guarantees Ginger Baker's commitment to a sport that stands for everything he isn't. When you were playing with the cream and blind faith and, and so on. Mm -hmm. You were having a good life, right? Life was good then. I think it's better now. Really? Oh, yeah, I'm a lot, you know, um, better in myself, fit and well, if you like, you know. And Making a go of being... Well, trying, yeah, trying very hard. <laughs> it's such a change, isn't it? Uh, in a way, but in another way it's not, because it's a, it's a challenge again, you know. And Ginger Baker's the same person? Oh, totally. Yeah. Still mad. <laughs> Ginger Baker says that he's given up drumming, but ask him nicely and he'll still oblige. And when he does, it's difficult to see the polo player. Drumming, it seems, is something you never quite forget.